Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to the first update for my Arkham Horror mod. This is the trash can system. Now, those who use my mods know about the way I use trash cans, so it's basically the same thing, but it's a complete code reworking to use new functionality within Tabletop Simulator. Uh, my whole philosophy in Tabletop Simulator mods is that I don't want too much scripting. I like setup scripting and what I call quality of life scripting, like the trash bag, which just discards things for you. Too much scripting, in my opinion, ruins the illusion that you're playing a board game, and I don't like that. So this is the kind of quality of life thing that I put in a lot of my mods, but it's all been completely redone. See, like in the old days, if I just switch to uh, uh, GM mode, there's basically three... There's actually four. There's a thing called memo, but there's basically three text fields. There's name, description, and GM note. And you used to have to place unique descriptors in there if you wanted to search. So if you wanted to search for, you know, a card type, but it also had to be, you know, a tribe type and, uh, you know, a weapon type or something, you'd have to have all that information written into these uh, text fields and search for them. And now there's a new functionality inside Tabletop Simulator they call Tags, which does the exact same thing, but it's all built into the system. And, you know, they've written these great tools, these great functions to manipulate and use these tags. So the new trash bag uses the tag system rather than this other system, which means that I can have, you know, descriptions and names actually function better. So if I have a look at this French Hill, French Hill Street, let's uh, just move this down here where it's visible, and this discard pile for the French Hill, uh, if I press this button over them, uh, I've set up a little debugger that allows me to print out the tags of objects. So you can see, if you look at the chat window on the left, there's basically Two, disc two tags is all you need to make your own uh, discard objects and discard targets. Because the whole point of this mod is to allow people to create their own content if they ever want. Like once the game is set up, you'll be able to just add stuff. That's the whole goal. So you don't need to do any coding. All you need to do is tag it with the correct tag. So that's ID underscore and then something unique for the ID, in this case, this is ID French Hill, and you need that on both the discard target and on the discard object. And then on the discard target, you just need to have discard target, and the discard object needs discard me, followed by the type. In this case, for this mod, there's discard large and small, because there's large and small cards. But there's also discard bag, discard script zone, uh, and stuff like that. But that's all. But basically, that's all you need to do. If you want the trash bag to function, you just need to tell it it can be discarded with the discard me tag and give it the ID. Plus, you need to give the discard target and the ID to wherever you're sending it to. So very, very simple to use once you get used to it. All you need is to add two tags. You know, it's, it's no effort at all. Uh, and one thing that is kind of cool, you might have noticed then, so if I chuck all this stuff in, uh, it'll fly out to where it's supposed to go, but it is all dynamic. So if I move the common item deck down here, right, it'll actually, you know, just move it there. Like it's all dynamic. So you don't have, you can set the board up any way you want. It doesn't affect the mod at all. Uh, it's all just however you like to do it. Another thing you might note is that if uh, if I just chuck all the cards in, it looks a little different. So you sort of zip and then it goes jump, you know, and that's because the old way it used to work is it used to spit them out of the bag and just place them above the location you wanted to drop them. And then the physics engine would just drop the cards. And this could cause all sorts of issues because the physics engine needs to actually play in real time frame for frame the things dropping and bouncing and everything you know if the if the deck was too high they might 
form decks halfway down and fall over or you know if your computer was too fast or too slow it could cause problems because you couldn't do extra stuff after you've moved them without waiting for the physics engine to finish you know like i like to i like to have the the decks renamed you know so they so the discard piles are all, are all nicely named but you can't do that until after the decks formed it's, there was a lot of issues now it's using put object, which is a function inside Tabletop Simulator, which places things inside bags or into decks. And the great thing about put object is that it has a cool little animation, which is visual to give you some feedback, right? That sort of zip thing happening there. But it's actually not real time. It's just a visualization. It, as far as the code goes, it's instantaneous. So it, it's so much more stable and it still looks pretty cool in my opinion. So that's a huge change. Uh, obviously, just like before, uh, you know, you, you can also handle bags. So if I chuck these, all, these will go into bags, right? And again, everything's dynamic, so it doesn't matter where these these bags are. I mean, you can put them literally anywhere, and the the model just understand where they go. Okay. Also. You've got the deletable items, so any item like spawnable tokens or whatever that you don't need to keep track of, they can just be destroyed. So if I chuck all these into the bin, they just get deleted, you know, they're gone. Uh, and to use these, all you need to do, if I just print it out, look at the chat window in the bottom left corner, all you need to tag it with is delete me. So anything with that tag will be deleted. And these tags are searchable, so you can have other things as well. You can, you don't, like, the, the discard object needs to have the two discard ID and the discard target and all that kind of stuff on it. But it can have as many other tags as you want. So, for example, this one here, when the, at the moment, it's just got common item and discard me small, but later on, I will be putting tome as a tag so it can be fetched easier by looking for tome. It's not going to affect the discard system. Uh, another thing is uh, script zones. So there's this thing called script zones. Now I don't use script zones much anymore. It's kind of like how I don't use GUIDs at all more, anymore at all either. So basically every object in Unity has a GUID, but this GUID, that's the GUID there, it's kind of... Uh, what's the word, dynamic, you know, it, it just, it can change, you can sometimes get duplicates in certain cases, it's unreliable, so I don't use GUIDs at all. Similar kind of thing, I don't use script zones very much anymore either, but I wanted to have the functionality in case I ever did need to use them. And basically, it works exactly the same way because script zones now can be, uh, you know, they never used to be able to have names and stuff. Now they can have names, description, GM notes, you can add them to tags, all sorts of stuff. So that's all done as well. And, you know, these will just fly to those script zones. You'll know I've got a bag here, that'll, that, so that's actually going into the bag. But, so you can also do it with script zones. Uh, finally, I've got this thing called special case. So these are special cases. And to make something a special case, you just have to give it, if you look at the chat in the bottom left, the discard me tag, and then followed by special case. And tag tags are case insensitive, by the way. I just find them easier to read if I use camel case. Anyway, the point is that what happens here is that when they get recognized by the trash bin, it drops into a special case area, which you allows you to just write whatever unique code you want to do anything you like, right? And that's just if there's some kind of really bizarre thing you need to do that's unusual, uh, you know what I mean? Like, say, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's got you. You'll, you, you might find it, but this has to be coded in. So it's just something for me as a stop. Hopefully I won't have to use this too much if ever. It just allows me to put in very unique and powerful code blocks for individual items. For example, I might 
use it to, I might use a unique case to handle the destruction of locations with that old one that can destroy things, you know, like you can actually destroy locations or whatever by discarding things. So these, these are all special cases. So if I drop these in here, they'll come out and you'll see they flip them into weird, you know, they rotate in weird angles and this one even scales. So that is how special case works. And of course, any object that you place in that doesn't have the discard tag or the delete tag will just be basically ignored by the trash bin and just sit in there so you can pull them out. And it doesn't matter what you put in here as well. So I can put in, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. It'll still just ignore them. You know what I mean? And that is pretty much the bag itself you know there is one thing actually i'll just quickly talk about uh basically uh let me grab the let me let me just grab this thing over here so at the moment i have if you look at the chat window you've got discard target and unique item, discard small or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove all the tags from these objects. This is a little tool I've written to help me deal with tags. So now if I print them out, you'll see that they've got no tags, okay? So if I, if I drop this card into the bin, nothing will happen because it's got no, it doesn't have the correct tags. But what I can do is I can just add any tags I want. So if I make this discard target and I just go add uh, ID demo and I just add those tags, you can see now it's got the discard target thing and the ID demo. And if I put all these in here, and I just call it discard me small because it's a small card in this case and add those tags. It'll now uh, function and go to the, to the thing. So that's how easy it is to just to add, to add your own discard locations and discard objects. You just have to, you know, tag things. I'll pro I will release these uh, these tagging tools when I get around to it. Uh, also, the the bag itself, uh, the, the the trash can itself is also. Uh, so if you just drag out any container, right, it'll work as a trash bag. Okay, so all you need to do is in the GM node name it trash. Now I could do that with a tag, but I didn't think it was necessary and I didn't want superfluous tags taking up the spot. But all you need to do is name it and bam, it now works as a bag. So any container of any sort will function correctly. And that is pretty much it. I can't remember if there's anything uh, really else I need to talk about. Uh, it's basically just, that's just the, the bag is, is finished. So that is the end of that. And I will see you guys next time.